Rahim. Assalamu alaikum and greetings. Ali Shamra here and welcome back to more RC video reviews. I used to be a Futaba guy. I used Futaba radios for many years. I used to fly almost everything with Futaba radios including the long range FPV. And then I met Free Sky Tyrannis X9D with the limitless possibilities of programming and ease of use of OpenTX based software and firmware on Free Sky Tyrannis X9D. I was hooked with that radio and I stayed with that radio. Now watch out people, there's a new bad boy in the town. Again, based on OpenTX software, new firmwares are being released almost twice a week and a lot of experienced pilots and programmers working day and night supporting and backing up this new radio control system. I'm sure this is going to make some big waves and it's going to be the next big thing in the radio controls, especially in OpenTX radio control system. Yes, I'm talking about the underground FPV Nirvana radio control. Now, I am really, really excited to have this bad boy right here with me. I can't wait to open box and show it to you. Actually, I already did open the box and did put my hands on this radio and I can just say wow this is definitely going to be the next big thing so let's not waste time talking about this while holding the box let me open the box let me show you what is the underground FPV Nirvana radio control and we will take a closer look at it and of course the possibilities that you have with this radio control right now this radio control is right out of the factory in my hands so there's no firmware there's nothing it's purely a basic factory settings right now I have to install the software and upgrade the firmware before I can actually use it until then let's do a quick unboxing with the underground FPV Nirvana so this is the box and you just slide it out first off you have the user guide a quick user manual there is a personal letter a from the manufacturers or from underground FPV of course and then there are warnings for the battery installation and instructions and there are stickers for you right there in the box now some of the stickers are missing because I have already used them on my video goggles and ta -da, check this out this is the underground FPV Nirvana radio control of course manufactured by Flysky before we bring the radio out, there is a small black box with accessories and receivers. So let me just quickly show you what's inside. We have a USB cable. We have the uh, kind of uh, audio jack cable, which uh, also have audio jacks. I will study the user manual and see what those are for. And then we have two different uh, receivers. This is an IA8X S bus or I bus receiver, really tiny very good for tiny FPV brushless micro FPV racing quadcopters okay and then we have another receiver which is a bit more long range uh, I haven't tested the range yet so I cannot say how long this is FSX8B receiver with two uh, three antennas just in case you damage one okay so two antennas will be installed and of course one cable after that we have some screws because you have an extra module bay that you can install on the back of your radio control let me remove the ba black background so we can see it okay so these will be installed on the back of the radio and you can install external modules like TBS Crossfire I believe because this radio basically supports TBS Crossfire and then we have finally the thing that we are excited about the underground FPV Fly Sky Nirvana radio control system. I mean, check this out. This is totally a different shape, totally a different type of radio control right here. There's a neat, nice cover on top of it that you can click fit on it and you can remove it whenever you need. 
Now looking at it from top here, you have two on off switches. Why two on off switches? So that you accidentally won't turn on or turn the radio off. In order to turn the radio on, you have to press and hold both of these buttons simultaneously and the radio will turn on. The gimbal have a very soft and nice feel. No matter you are going to pinch use it, okay or you're going to use your thumb they are really very good quality very soft and very good feel on these gimbals right here now for the switches we have SWA two position switch SWB a three position switch then we have SWC a momentary switch or a spring loaded switch now we have a switch D SWD a two position switch we have VRB and we are a which are dials and then we have two trimmers right here that you can use to trim your model even during flight and that's not it when you come at the back side of the radio you have four more switches right here we have a three position switch here we have a three position switch here and we have two momentary switches or spring loaded switches right here the antenna is folded in you can fold it out when you start flying this is the antenna this is not your uh, radio control um, you know support to stand it this is your antenna of your radio control you can keep it down anyway because you have the strongest signals right here and after that we are looking at the external module uh, connection here and I have shown you two little parts which are going to uh, fit right here with supplied screws just like this and now you can add your external modules and use them with this radio control and then you have two metal supports for you to grip your radio properly so basically when I'm holding the radio with my thumbs up my middle fingers are basically holding right here providing me a very good grip and leaving my index fingers to access the switches right here very easily so basically they provide you a very nice grip now in my hands it's a little big uh, my hands are smaller so I'm not complaining about the size of the radio but in my hands it's a slightly bigger however it feels really really very comfortable and now I really can't wait to fly with this radio just to see how it performs and how good it feels in the hands man I've, I'm simply actually excited and really really want to set this radio up as soon as possible so that I can start flying. Then on the front side of the radio you have a USB port so you can connect your radio to your computer and upgrade the firmware and of course let me just open it this is that audio kind of jack right here. Now when it comes to upgrade the firmwares as I mentioned the firmwares are being released every week you have to upgrade the firmware and you have the OpenTX software running inside this radio control and to upgrade the firmware everything is super super simple TF card that you will fit in the radio control right here you have to remove these two screws um, well I'm not sure what was the idea behind protecting the TF card with this much tight two screws thingy right here but again I don't know they have their reasons probably so you will remove this part and you will expose the TF card slot right here and I'm just gonna insert the TF card here okay and we will upgrade the radio control later definitely now to power the radio control all you need is two six five zero batteries okay and you will insert them right here okay two batteries and those batteries are dirt cheap even a good quality one costs like 10 cny only uh, 10 rmb which is not even uh, which is like one point something us dollar only so batteries are also cheaper all right everything is set this nice big LCD screen right here is a touch screen so press and hold both buttons and at the moment of course what you are looking at is something that the radio comes with from the factory so all you can do is perform some tests right here like LCD test battery test SD card test audio test backlight test 
for audio tests you do definitely need to have audio files uh, motor test uh, touch test interface test switch and key test stick test bluetooth test power set tx test rx bind a set output of the radio control wow that's nice man you can even set output of the radio control uh, you have ibus sbus pwm ppm awesome okay next ibus external fail safe servo frequency range test and sensor displays so there is a lot right here but once again please bear with me this is not how the radio will start this is a complete bare radio that came in its stock configuration from factory as it is right now I have put all the SD card dump in the SD card I'm gonna upgrade the firmware of the radio and then we will turn it on trust me it has some very cool themes and it has some very cool sounds as well once again this is an open TX radio control people open TX base this means you can customize you can play around you can fool around with this radio control and turn it into something that you like according to your own style according to your own personal taste according to your own personality you can change this radio to that so this is it this is the fly sky underground fpv nirvana radio control let me upgrade the firmware and we'll turn it on once again and see what else is in there and what else we can do with this radio control